Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with the bivariate standard normal distribution using R, specifically I'm using R Studio. Now the distribution itself uh, can actually be shown by using the formula for it, which is the uh, E the to the power of uh, minus x squared minus 2 times rho, the correlation times x times y, the two variables, plus y squared divided over 2 times 1 minus rho squared divided over 2 times pi. So if I load this function in, I can always calculate the height for the distribution. To visualize this, um, I can use rho of 0 0.8. I use different x values. Um, I'll assign uh, y to be the same as x and then uh, the z will be actually the height using that uh, function I just created earlier. So if I load that in, and now I have uh, row x and y, so different values for those, and then I can use the op, the, uh, the par, bg white, and then perspective x, y, z, and then which orientation, and this will give me a nice uh, visualization of the result. Um, if I zoom in, you can see it's slightly better. Now, you can also use the lattice, uh, which therefore is required, and then use wireframes, and then it looks slightly different, uh, but perhaps nicer with some more colors. Um, if you want a 3D diagram that you can actually rotate, you can use uh, the RGL library and the car library. And once those two are loaded, um, then you can actually create a data frame yep. and then actually run all of this and then do a 3D plot. Um, you're not seeing the plot, but here it is. Uh, there we go. can make it perhaps a little bit bigger. Uh, and this I can actually rotate now, so that might give a nice impression. In any case, as you can see, um, if I would make the row, the correlation, uh, bigger, uh, it becomes more squeezed, and if I make it less, it becomes uh, less squeezed. So if, for example, I change my row to only 0 0.01, and I would run this again, in that case, as you can see, uh, it now is more flat than the previous one, and this one. So now it almost looks more like it's spread out evenly. To actually calculate the areas underneath this, uh, there are a lot of different approximations that can be done. Unfortunately, R itself does not have a built-in library for this, but we can use, for example, the F Multivar library. If you've never used it before, run an install packages, and then you can load the library. So I'm going to do that, and then I can actually calculate now immediately, uh, for example, at these two values with a correlation of 0 0.5, and it simply then tells me what the probability is of obtaining something like that um, or less. And I can do the same for the others. So VGAM also has a uh, function, so if I would use uh, that library, uh, after installing it of course, I can uh, load this library and that should give me the same results. So let's have a look, and again here I should get the same values, 0 0.1463. If you don't want to use any library yourself and you really want to use the hardcore, the uh, equations, there are many different algorithms that can actually be used. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, Owen was perhaps the first in 1956. Uh, he used the so-called T function for which then others actually created uh, also a variation. So Cooper, Borf and uh, Young and Minder and uh, Dali, Daly, sorry if I'm butchering the name there, and uh, Bauchmann uh, they all came up with a variation on Owen's uh, approach and used a slightly different T function. If you're interested in these, I leave a link to my website on which there's a link to this uh, R script. You can then actually expand each of them 
and it will show you um, how this was actually coded. Um, there are many other algorithms as you can see all of them so you can pick any of the ones you would like and then simply use that function uh, to calculate the cumulative density function of the bivariate normal distribution. Alright, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.